The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Hi folks, not Steve Rhodes. Steve is out today. This is Basil Chapman. This is live. I'll be sitting in uh, Steve's uh, uh, services, uh, Mastering Probability Trading. Uh, and right now, we're looking at uh, a situation where I just felt that a lot of things are going on. And I, I happen to, I like, um, you know, Mastering Probability is what we're looking at here, basically in the sense that what are the probabilities of a response as you're sitting there over the weekend saying, oh my goodness, what a horrible story with the assassination attempt. What a miraculous uh, fact that President, uh, former President Trump was not assassinated. Um, and you just, you, you're in wonder, and what, what world are we in that this keeps happening here? All right, with that said, it really is the response of the market, because that's what we hear. We're here for the one, I'm not going to talk politics, anything. This is about the markets, unless the politics at any particular time is absolutely imperative to monitor because it is going to impact the market. Well, that's how it would have been over the weekend, and it is now saying a relief rally. Dow's up 273 um, at 40,274. Now, there were a couple of things. So I was asked about the um, IWM, whether or not the Russell 2000 uh, could scream to the upside, were we not ready for some kind of a pullback to add to positions for some uh, my, for my subscribers? We in we along the IWM wanted to add to it as well. Um, well, I suspect that there would have been an early part to the week where we probably could have, but this really is almost as if the market is saying, phew, the turmoil that could have uh, unfolded uh, would have been just too much, thank goodness, and now there's this rally that's going on. And within that context, all I can say is that um, there are patterns that I talk about all the time. The rectangle pattern, I always draw this in with a sharp move down. Then the market starts, whatever price the symbol we're following, starts to make higher highs and higher lows. And then the rule of thumb is there could be a rally that goes just under, right on or just above the previous high that could even go to four higher peaks. Remember, Alpha Ties, uh, Steve does a great job. He's automated my Chapman Wave methodology. Um, I, the reason why I haven't got it automated, I, I've had it and I have a, a program that will allow me to but is because there are the variations, and those variations I find are subtle, but they just enough for me to feel like to overcome them. Uh, there's a lot of work that would need to be done. So I'm just going to say the easy thing is if you identify the low and just count each success of the higher peak, when you get to the fourth highest peak, other things can happen. If within three bars it breaks to a new all time, a new recovery high, that then becomes E slash A. But if it's very strong, then just treat it as an A and say, hey, if the 9 period moving average is strong, the MACD is strong, stochastic at 86 is strong, uh, the relative strength, uh, yep, the relative strength right there is strong. Uh, you don't really have to do anything, just alphabetize it sequentially, and that's the way it is. But what's really important is that when you get a rectangle formation, form a cup, and then a second cup that really looks like a W, gosh, I can't believe it took me decades and decades and decades to one day say, oh, Maybe I knew it earlier, but I just said a W is a U with a second U, a double U. Anyway, that's just me. Um, anyway, there's your double U uh, in the weekly chart. And what do we have? Slightly higher lows and slightly higher highs. And then all of a sudden, it just accelerates that nine period moving average. Look how long it took all those weeks to get back to that level. It should have been much quicker, and it wasn't. And that just says it's a very steady, slow move up. And as long as those nine period moving averages um, are over the 14 and the daily and the weekly and the monthly, all systems are go. That's all the way. That's the way it is. All right. Let's just go to the S&P. S&P trading. 
Champion Wave Inside uh, track, and I haven't done this because I did it on one of them. I haven't done it on the other. I'll do it right now. So that's green. That becomes red. Just an easy technique I developed years and years ago where I've noticed over the years that the price keeps bumping up against a resistance point. And that resistance point, if it's in a trend line, could become something what I call an inside track repellent zone. And on the downside, it's an inside track propellant zone. I don't have to put that in because we've got the 9 period moving average and the 14 period moving average as key support levels. But look where you are. And look where you are in the weekly chart. You're right up against that level. That's amazing. But wait a minute. Look where you are in the monthly chart. That is almost a month is young. Only halfway through the month. Look at this inside track repellent zone. Repellent zone, repellent zone, and you're in it right now. And in fact, you've gone fractionally above it. This is the little green and, and pink uh, narrow wedge formation. All right, so yeah, I could kick myself right now because I did get out of that, that two-click session because I was just I, I wanted to be able to focus on the on the market. So I got out of it, but that was that was dumb. There was no other reason. You remember, in the market, if you have goals, you must always stay with your goals. If you have a plan, stay with your plan. If you change it. Change it in a, in a way that says, I'm being very constructive, so I've changed my, my methodology, but these are the things I'm looking at. So within that context, let me just say that, uh, look right here, this is still moving up in the, in the one-minute chart. This is still only a leg. I've made this a leg C in the Champion methodology, especially in the futures, if you can get two or three parallel highs. And the little uh, one of your other indicators gives a little ictus right there, a little change of direction. You can use it as a phantom peak to allow you to get oh, this is a phantom, yep, to get to to your peak D because that's where other things can happen sooner and prepare for it. So I'm calling this leg C. Technically, it's only a leg B in the five minute chart, and it's only a leg B in the in the ten minute chart. Think of it like daily, weekly, monthly. It's the same order. That's what we teach, and those that's what I have webinars on in my in my webinars that I give for subscribers to my opening call. So now let's just get out of this and say, so far, very good action. Let's go to the QQQ, and we'll say the nice rally is building steam. It was not acting all that well before. It's under the high of 503.52 from Wednesday of last week. Now it's at 500.43 at 563. There was even a round number for a moment the other day. But look at this. A nice rally, a weekly chart, nice rally going up to the resistance level, and only a leg C, an official leg C in the monthly chart. In 2024, we should still go higher. Uh, there's only a C. It should still go to a D at least. Let's go to IWM. We did that before, acting very nicely. Oh, at the high of the day at 217.26. Um, oh, man, this is just a real nice breakout right there. Yeah, we, we are long. Should have been longer, but we are long. And uh, not complaining, because that's sort of the position that we had planned for. And it's doing very nicely. Now, the question is, is this a new leg B in the weekly chart? Was that a peak E? And now we've started a brand new buy signal. I'll talk about that in a moment, because this is all part of education. That's what we do here at TFNN. So Basil Chapman sitting in for uh, Steve Rhodes. And uh, be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. 
Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. Steve Rhodes uh, is uh, out on jury duty. I just remembered uh, jury duty, and so I'll be sitting in right now. This is live at 11.18 a.m., and we've got Paul in Texas on the line. Paul, how are you? Good, Basil. How are you? I'm well. So, what are we going to look at? Oops. Paul, you there? Um, Paul was there. Yes. Hi, Paul. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I see. Paul wanted to look at WBA. Um, Paul dropped. Okay, Paul, you wanted to look at WBA. Call again. Uh, while I'm talking, why don't you give a call? I don't mind at all. And then uh, I'll just interrupt me and say, Paul is back. Or let Paul just speak. Um, so, Paul, WBA is Walgreen Boots Alliance, Inc., drugstores. Uh, you know, talk about lousy charts. Wow, we looked at this way back and I said, is there a chance that, Wal uh, that Walgreen could finally see some strength. After all, people need uh, you know, CVS, Walgreens. They need them, I mean, really badly. But look at this, down, 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 even as we speak. So, uh, have, hi, Paul, you're back. Hey, Paul. Yeah, uh, you yeah. there? Yeah, oh, okay. So, Paul, you, you're you looking at Walgreens. What, what are you doing? And tell me what, uh, as Steve would say, and how can I help you? Um, looking to see if there's an entrance point to go long. So, if you when you, the, the the manner in which you say it, it seems to me that in the back of your mind you're looking at this as a potential. We don't know if it is, but as a potential turnaround, as a longer term position that you're getting in at lows, and even if it goes a little bit lower there's a chance you could at least try to fill the gap and get back into the 14s at some point. Is that kind of the way you're looking at it? Yeah. So I'm going to make a suggestion because this has been just horrendous. I don't know if you've tried before to get into Walgreens. WBA's the symbol is trading down 4 cents at 11.46. 
the the very first thing that strikes me is that there was a one to one to the downside and it's extended in the monthly chart by quite a bit. That would have ended at about 15.60. Instead, this thing has gone down to the low that was made uh, just a couple of days ago of $10.69. But it is uh, pushing about a, a point higher right now. So there's only one, well, there are two ways that I would look at this. I don't know if you ever use options, but the easy way not the less expensive way or anything other than the easier way to do it is just to say, you know what, I'm going to buy, if there's such a thing as a $12.50 or even a $12 option, and I'm going to make it way out because this thing needs a lot of time. I'm going to make it, we're now in July, I'll skip August, I'll even go to September, and you buy a call, just one or two, just you get a position there to say, I'm prepared to... I'll get out of this if there's even just a couple of pennies left. But whatever it is, there's a chance that it has the potential to more than double if Walgreens finally gets its act together. And therefore, that's money I'm setting aside. I'm prepared to lose a chunk of it. But it isn't that much in my portfolio. And it really has capital gains. And it'll allow me to get into the position as a stock later on if it actually starts to prove itself. That's the one way. If you don't do options, here's the other way. You see the move that it's had over the last three sessions, that's Thursday, Friday, and today. It's just kind of holding up. It's like someone knows something, uh, but they haven't had any real conviction other than to say much of the selling pressure has gone down. But I want to always put this together with CVS. And CVS, you can see, has had a different pattern even though it's ugly, it's at least at a pretty decent from 53, uh, 52, 53 area back in uh, May, June. It rounded all the way to uh, 62, 10 points. That's a nice percentage gain. And it's given back, but it's given back and it's holding better. So I'm not going to ask you why you, uh, you would maybe prefer CV, uh, um, Walgreen to uh, CVS. Let's just go back. I wanted to use this as kind of a, I can't use it even as a, uh, any anything other than to say someone in the field who something does something similarly they're not exactly the same because Walgreens uh, the problems there are a little bit different to CVS so let's just go back to W uh, Walgreens WGA here we go uh oh, oh, oh WBA WBA and let's see what we can do so I'm going to make this suggestion but you've got to realize that everything is against you chart-wise. There's one thing that is for you, and that just says that the candle that formed, the tiny doji candle that formed on uh, last week, and today's action, not taking that out immediately, is the first little bit of a plus that I can do. So I'm going to suggest, and you think, I don't even think there's a rush to do this. I'm saying at 11.46, I don't know what you would feel comfortable as a, uh, as a stop. If you are talking about longer term, even there, if it takes out the low that was made of 10.69 on the 9th and goes below 10, that is really not good action. Going from 11.45 to 10, that's a dollar fifty. That's you know that's 12 percent. I wouldn't do that. So yes, I'm just giving this as a suggestion. Start a very small, like a nibble right here. Whatever number of shares you're going to buy. Make it almost like an eighth or even a tenth. Just start a position here at 11.47. If, perchance, it starts to trade and touch 11.95 oh, or preferably 12 by Wednesday or Thursday, add just another tiny little bit. And then I wouldn't do anything. And then I would think, what would my stops be? On the very first position, I would have a stop if it's just a small position, you say, you know, I'm actually prepared to have a one point or a 1.30 percent, a 1.3 uh, stop on it. That's fine. I would make it fairly narrow. And I just today you nibble at 11.48 and you have to give it a little time, see what happens all day. And then by tomorrow, the next day, if it hasn't pulled back, the two lows that were made on Friday was 11.62. Today's low is 11.54. So uh, 11, sorry, 11.32 and 11.29. Sorry, I got 11.29. 11. So if it goes to, say, you're in at 11.48, if it goes to 11.20, you just monitor it today. But I'm just saying to you, 
I think this is the start of an attempt to rally at least back into the 1270s to try to fill that gap. And it has to do with, I would say this week, because if it continues stalling like this, wow, those technicals are deteriorate. I don't know if that suits you. And then you go one step at a time. If it can get at any point in the next week or two, if it actually touches 12.70, even 13, that's the best action you could have. Absolute uh, horrible chart, horrible chart starting to repair itself. And then call me again and we'll have a look at it. But I would say right here at 11.50, what we're talking about, start your position, but treat it as just a starter position. I don't know if that helps you, Paul, but that's the way I would look at it. Oh, thank you. appreciate it. And thank you for calling. I appreciate it. And I'm saying thank you for Steve, if you were going to call Steve. I'll be right back. Now, it's just the market starting to pull back a little bit here. It's up 290. S&P's up 45. Basil Chapman sitting here for Steve Rose. I'll be right back. Tigers, it's back. The annual July Tiger Dollar Sale. If you've been wanting to try one of our products, from our stellar newsletters to educative webinars, now is the time. From now until July 22nd, we're offering a 20, 30, even a 40% bonus on Tiger Dollar purchases. After being applied to your account, your Tiger Dollars will be used for all purchases. They can be easily transferred and never expire. If you want to receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when purchasing Tiger Dollars, now's your chance. This is a perfect opportunity to try out a newsletter or save big on your current subscription. This deal is only available until July 22nd, so lock in your bonuses fast. Go to TFNN.com today to lock in your bonus. TFNN, educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels. You'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns. You'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry Pesavento Friday, July 12th and Friday, July 26th, 9 a.m. to noon Eastern Time for three hours of live trading. For this month only, use promo code LarryJuly24 at checkout to save $50 on your first month's subscription. For all the information and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This portion of the Trader's Edge is brought to you by Direction's Daily Leveraged and Inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Uh, 
that uh, Steve's doing his civic duty, his uh, on jury duty. Wow, I don't know how many times I've been called, and I have never actually sat on the jury. Um, I always get bounced, uh, or at least the case gets bounced, and therefore I get bounced. Um, yeah, interesting. And I don't know if, if there's a time sequence, because the last one, I know with my wife, she got called within a year. Um, that was a little surprising. All right, let's go. We've got the... Um, so the question came in, did we miss an opportunity last week where we took just a tad off as as just this is money management, the IWM, did we miss an opportunity of adding instead? Well, um, there will be an opportunity to add. Yeah, this is a huge move. Yeah, this is a big move. Uh, don't don't think market, even now, look, the, the Dow is now back to where it was uh, when I was uh, ending my show. Uh, a little pullback. It just might be a little pullback. There is always an opportunity. So, um, yeah, you've got to appreciate what you've got. It's really important. More importantly, I want you to do this. Uh, I want you to show you some things. Look, wheat. When things start to go down, you never know quite why, or you might know, but it's just like it's, wow, doesn't stop going down. Well, look at this. doesn't stop going down. There's this left side, right side, this arch formation, took it out, it's trading at 535 and a half, down 15. Hey, wait a minute. Soybeans, ugh, under the 200 period moving average in the weekly chart. Ugh, 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 look at that monthly chart. We are going into a deflationary phase, I think, here. Look at this, con, as we say in the Boston area, con, uh, near the lows of uh, Friday. Uh, just look, there's this left side, right side price time match that I drew in in the um, using Chapman Wave methodology, continuous contract, that low that was made back in uh, September of 2021 at 377.5. Well, lo and behold, we went to 380, what was that? Three, 390 and three quarters, and then, yeah, three, right there. That was the low on the uh, 10th of July. And it looks like it's struggling and it could go down. Remember, this is the pattern that with the with the MACD, very weak, stochastic weak, etc., where the price only finds a base where there's some kind of a story to attach to it. Uh, DBA is an area that we've been long forever. Um, that's the DB Agricultural Fund. And yet it's not cascading like all these others. It's made a peak B and it's pulling back. It had a high of 26-something back on the I type that in? No, I didn't. 26, I think it was 50 something. No, 81. Uh, no, no, 2617. That's a 2617 uh, back around about the 10th of June. And it's pulling back. And I keep looking and saying, well, the grains are coming down. The grains are coming down. Why is this holding quite well? Well, we're in from the 13s. But look at that. I mean, yeah, it's amazing. All right. So a question came in. I, I remember I was looking at rig. And I say, yeah, I think rig is starting to move quite nicely. Oh, now it's up 12 cents. Yeah, so that's Transocean Limited offshore. I was about to put that in the newsletter today to have a, to, to start a position. I think this is improving. It wasn't. If you look at that weekly chart, it's still a pink nine period moving average, still a pink in the daily. But it says to me that the XLE, that's the energy sector, is now starting to find strength. It has strength in the, in the crude oil. It doesn't directly always translate that strength in the crude oil is going to go to all the different components. It does very often, but there are moments where sometimes they like in two different universes. So this is a peak A. Remember, to find the lowest low bar, count each successively higher peak, alphabet, uh, alphabetize them, uppercase on the way up, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, Ds, where other things can happen. And here we are, and you're breaking out of this inside track. I mentioned this last week, this down channel with an inside track. So yeah, I think this is the first time I can say XLE is starting to show the kind of strength that needs to fo see follow through. But if you're interested in it, you can do some buying again. Then SLB, which is Schlumberger, question in the den. Give me your perspective on SLB, accidentally long at, <laughs> accidentally long at 45.63. How much potential does it go back to the last good top of 54-ish? And you're in at 46, and it's trading at 48.08. So look what I do. I find the lowest low bar. That's this particular bar right here. Normally, I just put a plus sign, but now I can put an up arrow because it's gone very strongly higher with the technicals very good. It's missing this, uh, the stochastic. So this is an A. That would be an A underneath there. That would be an A underneath there. I'm not going to put them in. And this is B. 
but a very strong leg B. In the weekly chart, just coming off the 200 period moving average, eh, all I can say is it's a work of, wow, I used to have these notated. I've had Slumberger notated since the beginning of time, but sometimes I lose my data. And that's the thing. When you automate it, it's right there every time. With me, I have to do that. Look how quick it is. A, B, C, D, E. A, B, C, stalling. And, yeah, it's got a lot of work to do. It's at the 200-period moving average in the, in the month at 48.15, up 73. What I'm going to suggest, uh, Dana, is that, first of all, very nice entry point. I, I don't, if it's luck, I'm, I'm prepared to accept that if you're in. That's number one. Why? Because you're in at a level that says you've got about a, from your entry point, you've got about a dollar fifty risk if there's going to be a failure here. Now, what I like to do is, since this is a live show, I'm going to show you what I would normally do. I'd look for all the resistance levels. So you see all the stuff around here. I'd push by, back as far as I could. I'd go all the way to there and I'd say, you know what? If I made a left side, right side price, a symmetry, a bar that says you can go back to these highs, which would be the high of uh, 50.05, uh, that was a daily chart on the 22nd of April, where would I find an inside, where would I find some kind of a inside wedge target support line that says this is about the area that you can expect me to retest that. So this is a little long in the tooth. So I'm going to go right over there and say, oh, oh say, I'm going to make it, normally I'd go. To, I'd like to go to the low bar, but you can see that's silly. Going all that way to the left, I don't want to go all that way to the right. I want to go as soon as I could in a very conservative way. So I'm going to go to here. I'll go to that low right there. I like to go to lows or highs or certain candles. I'm going to type that in like that. Just press click. And I've got myself left side, right side, price, time edge. And I say, that's way too far. So I'm going to say, I like it to match to this particular candle right here. So let's see if that's the case. And I want to go to the inside wedge target resistance line. There you are. Okay. All right. That to me makes a lot more sense. And it says at this particular rate, it might be a little early, but by the uh, July, so today is the 15th. So by the 19th or 20th, yeah, that, I'm fine with that. By, the, by Friday or Monday of next week, if this kind of acceleration goes on, then the 50, what did I say it was, 50.48? 50.05 level should be a target over the next coming days. But there's resistance. And if you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, 
and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Uh, oil company. We're looking at um, trading at 48.41 right now, up to, and I've got this target that says this is a leg B. I've got this as a buy mode. Uh, sorry, buy signal. I haven't got the buy mode confirmation. I guess the cast to get over eighty percent. But the inside track repellent zone right there says uh, by well most of this week the forty nines will be strong resistance. But the target is by uh, sometime. But what is the date today? Yeah, sometime in the next few days, you should hit this level here forty nine. 19, no, it was 50.05. That would be my target, and that would be the first big target, and then you have to assess. Okay, I hope that helps you. And as I say, the whole 46 area should be support, and we'll see what happens. The weekly chart needs a lot of work to push away from the 200 period exponential moving average. Uh, next question is, um, yeah, let me look at this right here. Point okay. Okay. Okay, I'm just reading some of the questions here just to see because Steve usually gets a ton of questions. And I'm just seeing if I can do some here. Okay, maybe I did that too quickly, but all I can say is that I'm looking. Okay, so this, these are the things I'm looking. Remember, t a telephone, I had a question over the weekend. What about telephone with all this negative news? Yeah, I just be careful. Uh, telephone was on my list as a buy uh, recently, and then I said, oh, with all this news, I just don't know. 135 million people are something affected by the breach. Ugh. Right in the 200-period moving average in the weekly chart. Lovely action up until now, but I think that's going to be – I think it's going to put a cap on it. So I'm just wanted to say not as good. So Verizon also is pulling back today. It's more stuck in a rectangle formation. It was actually uh, – in the weekly chart, look at that, stuck in the rectangle, but uh, telephone was making higher highs and higher lows with a new recovery high. So this is really bad news, down 27, not much, 27 cents at 18.55, but it's the fact that it looks to me like it is going to impact a little bit, at least shorter term. You would expect it to, wouldn't you? Um, here's the other thing. Uh, a couple of questions came in. CAG, uh, CAG, that's ConAgra. ConAgra is sitting, it just took out on Thursday, it took out the weekly, left, uh, this is a, a very important look, arch formation. So what we're looking at is the low that was made back in ConAgra, which is food, snacks, frozen, protein snacks, etc. The low that was made back at 25.16 on the week of the 6th of October had a higher high and then a higher low all the way up at 26.62. And that was the week of uh, that was Feb February the 16th. 
Then last week it had, look at this, the number of bars, there's absolute equal number of bars in the arch formation, but it's making higher highs and higher lows. Well, now the question is, are we looking at this rotation that says, aha, now we can be looking at something else that's very different, that these uh, um, foods and snacks, if there is a, a decrease in the price of the goods, it could impact positively. So put ConAgra on your list as something that, I'm going to put it here, C-A-G, is in the new category of um, at least something that has fundamentals that could allow it to move higher. And that's what I really like. I like it when you've got something that says on the fundamental side, you've got X and that X should impact Y and Z in such a way. And then you look at the price and you say, well, if that happens, we could have another burst of speed. It went to a D, but you have another arch formation in the uh, uh, daily chart. If at 28.51 up 15 cents, any time by Friday this week without closing under 27.90, it can hit 29, oh, anywhere in the 29s, just to form the right side of higher highs and higher lows potential. That's really what I'd be looking at. Weekly chart, not great. Monthly chart, ugh, not great at all. So it's the daily chart that really has to help. So that's why I mentioned it. Um, question came in here. Uh, I think I'm going to see. BHP. All right. British. Oh, wait. BHP is a uh, bulletin. What is it? BHP. 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 Uh, I've got it as BHP Bulletin Limited ADR. I think it's Australian, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so let me do this. When a price of whatever you're following gets stuck at a 200 period moving average, to get away from it and then stay away from it is really important. So in the daily chart, this is BHP's trading down 86 cents at 58.41. 58.91 is the 200 period daily um, exponential moving average. 56.80 is the 200 period moving average weekly. And look how many times it's ran it away and it comes back and it takes it out and then it comes back, tries to hold it and then pops up and then comes back. And then everything gets repeated it's like the micro is looking at the macro. It's usually it's the other way around. But look at this. It's just been sideways in a rectangle formation. Peak A, peak B, peak C, peak D. And then what does it do? Nothing. So this is BHP. The way I'm looking at stocks that or any any symbol that I'm following that makes a peak and then gets basically gets stuck. And, and let's face it. A where did I get that D from? Peak A, peak B, peak C. So this is already a C1. Whoops, C1. The C2. C3. And then a C4. And then we do some inner work, right? It hasn't taken out. This almost acts like a D, because D is where other things can happen. That's where you get your biggest turn down sometimes. But it's still stuck in the range. Okay, I wanted to do that. This is, this is a BHP bulletin. And if someone can just remind me um, what they did, it was in the materials area. Raw materials? Okay. Yes, okay. So this is all I can say is, uh, Megapi, I'm g I, it hasn't broken down and it hasn't broken out. It's made a peak A, a peak B, a peak C, and a peak D in the daily chart, and then it stalls. It seems to do the same thing even in the uh, weekly and the monthly. Look at this. Uh, peak A oh, makes a lower low. So this is just an A and a B, and now it's stalled. Did it take it out? No, it hasn't taken it out. It's just stuck. Oh, I. you know what? If you're looking out, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to suggest... Usually I'd say just take a little small position here and then let it do whatever it's going to do. But I don't see anything. I see it's stuck. When something's stuck, it means it, it, 60 is the resistance. 53, uh, oops, 50, yep, 57. 57 is the support and it's just stuck there. So here's what I'm going to say to you. If this trades for two out of three sessions above 60.20. In other words, it has to get into the 60s. Can't just go 60 and then fail. 
60.20 and then holds there, I would say start your position. Start your engines. Get a position and it should hold at 58.91. It should hang, hang around this 200p moving average. Even if it slips underneath it, it should come back again. But if in the next two days it actually trades under 57.60 and it's at 58.42 right now, I wouldn't touch it. If it trades on the upside to the 60s, give me a yell. We're looking at the game because then what I can see is a slow grind up. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Hi folks, we're back with the last little segment here, Basil Chapman sitting Trader's Edge for Steve Rose. I'm just uh, covering for that hour because I think it really is an important day and I think all of us want to see exactly what's happening in the market live today because it is so important. So here we go. The, uh, the transports are up $1.13 and 66.83. Uh, Got that leg, D. We're always looking for D. C1, C2 acts like a D, so it pulled back sharply in the weekly chart. This is what I want to see. If there's going to be a continuation of this particular rally, into this uh, mid part of this week. I want to see the transports at 66. Try to get into the 68s. Uh, it's at 66, 84. You're right. Try to get into the 68s and hold there through Friday. Higher is great, but into the 68s. I want to see bonds. And this is going to be very important. Bonds are down a half a point. I don't want to see them uh, break to the upside into the 120, one and a half, 122 area. No. I don't want to see them break. I, I want to see them get into the 121, 122 area so that yields can come down in the short term. That's going to be tough to do. Powell's speaking in another 10 minutes or so. We'll see what he has to say. Um, we're looking at crude oil. Crude oil trading right now. Um, 
I'm down 26. It's in the higher range. It has to get like the other charts we were looking at, the Chapman Wave Inside Track Repellent Zone. It needs, to, if you want crude oil to go higher, it needs to get to the 85s. We were looking at some of the uh, oil service stocks, and some of them look like they kind of, they, they got a little anxiety there. They want to get going. They haven't quite got going. I think there's a chance that they could rally, but I mentioned what they need to do in the next couple of days to show strength and survival, not just a bounce and a failure. That's going to be important. So, yes, it's important. I do see buying coming in. I see a rotation that's really important. That's why there shouldn't be a really sharp smash to the downside because as long as you've got a rotation, it says that money is going somewhere. Even the SMHs, which kind of stalled before, they are up 78 cents. But that tells me that if the semis take a breather, but you've got something like the IWM, the Russell 2000, or the IWN, the Russell 2000 value moving higher, or the KRE, uh, KO, which is the regional banks moving higher. That's good. That's the rotation you want to see. So, so far, markets are actually really positive. Check out my opening call, my daily newsletter, and on the weekends, I have a, at least an hour uh, video that I do going through all these different positions and what we're looking at. Stay tuned. I usually say tuned for Steve, but Steve was a jury dude. Stay tuned for TFNN. Great program coming up, and I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow.